Hi boys and girls, happy Friday. Um, today we're gonna have kind of a fun, fun Friday. Um, I'm still wearing my PJs. Um, getting all cozy yesterday and today have kind of not been a great day to go outside and play. So today we're going to have a fun challenge that I'm gonna post, hopefully that you guys can do inside your house. Um, and I thought I would read you a silly story. Um, this is Skippy John Jones. This is one of my favorite book characters. Um, Skippy John Jones is hilarious. So I wanted to share with you this book today. Um, it's written by Judy Sachner and it is published by see, Dutton Children's Books. So let's, let's get started. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama, jo Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Miss Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. Mama doesn't sound happy. Siamese cat is a type of kitty cat. So that's what, what she is. That's what she's saying he is, too. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, and once or six times I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole! exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and again it disappeared. It appeared, sorry. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed into his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a moy, moy, soft voice. My name is Skippy Do Francisco. I fear not a single bambito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes, indeed -o. Back in the chick in the kitchen, Juju B, Juzabelle, and Jilly Boo, Ju Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? Asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mister Fluffinutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John Jones wasn't thinking about a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, he th his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious so band of ch chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos. <laughs> growled Don Diego in the biggest of small of small ones. Who 
are you? I am El Skipito. <laughs> the great sword fighter, said Jippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones poke up. Why the masquito, dude? Asked Popico to Tito. I go incognito, said Skipito. Do you like rice and beans? Asked Pin. Pin Pinlito. <laughs> See, I love my sunbeams, said Skippito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalito. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Ooh, what's the secret password, do you think? <sighs> Le leaning towards Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke, the secret password to the Chihuahua's very large ear. Achoo Pichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Skipito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yip, yipito! It's the end of Alfred Bizito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bumblezito. Then all the ch ch chimichangos went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. Then they took a siesta. Here's their fiesta. Here's their siesta. <laughs> But after waking up, the chimichangos got down on some serious business. Using his plan, Don Diego drew a picture of the sand of the great Bumblebito for Skipito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that no one could hear a whispered drop. Alfred Bozito, whispered the crowd. El Bombito, Bambozito, Bambito. Si, said Pipotito. The bandito steals our fritos. Not your beans, cried Skippito, outraged. See, si, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked, and blue. Cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, panito, and jelly, too. And now he comes for us, Popito added. Pose? asked Skippito. Because we are full of beans, too. Then Don Diego stood tall in his most somber voice and declared, Yo quito froloso. Huh? asked Capito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Paquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Capito. Then all the chimichangos turned towards Capito, the great sword fighter. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There he is. Me, he says. But poor Skipito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichango scattered in all different directions. Vamanos, Skipito, or you is, or it is you the bambito will eato, they cried. Skipito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like jello, and his teeth shattered like the chestnuts. Then, in a my, my soft voice, he said, My name is Capito Francisco. I fear not a single bambito. But Alfred Buzzito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy freeholds! cried Skipito as he thrust his sword in the air. How close? What do you think? Suddenly, pop, went the babito, landing on Skipito's sword, and quicker than one could say, Chimicha, Chichu, <laughs> getting all jumbled up here. <laughs> Chichita's cheese and crackers! Every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfred Bazito, the Bombito Bandito. Holy cow, look at it. Or I think as Jippy, 
uh, Skippy John Jones would say, holy guacamole. Look at all those beans. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Skippito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can all make burritos. Yummy. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John Jones' room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Baguito, crushito, puppy ball, Skippito! Just in time to see Skippy John Jones' closet <gasps> exploding. Mm, do you remember what Mama said about the closet? Uh-oh. Then out flew candy beanbag doggies and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Holy muchachos, he said in a my, my voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John Jones and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones called his mama. Buenas noches, mi amigos, said Skippy John Jones. He is for sure a cat that likes to go on adventure. I love Skippy John Jones, even though sometimes my words get a little jumbled up because I get excited. But um, yeah, so I want to know if you have ever read any Skippy John Jones books. I have a couple more here that I'm going to read to you guys um, through the the computer screen. Um, I wish I could hug you guys and I miss you and I can't wait to hear from you. Bye.